this is just another example of, um, I guess, what it's like to be me, for lack of a better better synopsis is that about 12 days ago I had to relive it all I had to relive everything of April 7th 2018 when I lost the girl who meant everything in the world to me That's so hard to fucking say that I lost her and that she's gone. It's a a gut a gut wrenching thing to have to deal with at any point, and the the sheer amount of dread that's associated with that date approaching. Damn near destroyed me again. Oh. But now I'm to the point of uh, learning every day to accept uh, what I've become or who I am. And there's another thing that goes along with uh, everything that's happened to me and everything I've tried to improve and the people that have been there and the people that I've met. And that's um, that I know that I can't replace her and I don't want to replace her. And when I say it's at my fingertips, I mean, I see her. The story you were about to hear. I see her every day. Only the name have been changed. She's been there since only the name has been changed. Since I met her. She hasn't wavered in who she is. She hasn't wavered in what she wants. She's steadfast. Like a mountain in the rain. She's Amazing. She's an amazing person who has done everything that I've asked. She's the answer to every call, every text. Every tear. had the privilege of seeing some PT. Only the name have been changed. Seeing some PTSD episodes that I wouldn't wish on anyone. But she hasn't moved. Stubborn. Just like someone else. The story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed. Only and there's the nothing more in my life that I need right now. 
more than her with my quarantine look and all. I need her something fierce. Uh, I have the weight of the world lifted off of me whenever she's around. She has the innate ability to ground me. To make sure that my, you know, feet are on the ground. And that my head is on my shoulders as best as it can be. I never in a million years would have thought that somebody like her could walk into my life just out of the blue and, and just be so absolutely fucking amazing in every way. Right at my fingertips. She's within inches of my goddamn hands. She's terrified. I know she is. She's terrified of being hurt like she has in the past. She's terrified of being let down. <coughs> Which evidently I've somehow become. Blessed with the ability to do that to people. But everything that she does for me, all the time that we spend together, every word that's exchanged, she's there. <laughs> 